Hi there, this is Marie T. Russell. Welcome to the Inner Self audio version of Using Our Intuitive Gifts in the Age of Aquarius, written and read by Nancy Yearout. Using Our Intuitive Gifts in the Age of Aquarius. For most of my life, I did not have a name for my abilities. I figured that I had really good intuition and was psychic. I just knew things. Today, this gift is referred to as claircognizance. This is one of my gifts, a clear knowing of the future. Growing up, the afterlife, angels, astrologers, and psychics fascinated me. I oftentimes saw my grandmother with a book about the afterlife in her hands. She was a big fan of Edgar Casey and had some psychic abilities herself. I can remember my mom and aunts gathering around the dining room table on a Sunday afternoon to use the Ouija board, as they were all fascinated by the afterlife and psychics too. I must confess that I used the Ouija board a few times with a friend when I was in my 20s. Sherry was my neighbor and our kids played together. While sitting at my kitchen table, hands on the Ouija board, Sherry became chilled and I would overheat as the pointer moved across the board. I feel as if we were conducting the energy through us. I'm not sure who or what we conjured up over 20 years ago, but the answers that board gave us came true. Scary stuff. And no, I do not recommend conjuring things up with the board. Venturing out into the business world, I learned that I could use my intuitive abilities in my work. This newfound ability worked well, along with faith and good intentions. I began to use affirmations, visualizations, and to go with my gut feeling on deals and with people. But when it came to my love life, I was always saving my man. Why was I always attracting the guy who needed me to help them? I was married for many years before I realized that I was an empath. An empath is a highly sensitive individual who has the ability to sense what people around them are thinking and feeling. Empaths have a great sense of empathy, often to the point of taking on another's pain. Empaths have a strong attraction to narcissists. This is a real issue for empaths as they can be literally sucked dry of their good energy and used up by these folks. This is one reason I am mentioning these empathic tendencies. Empaths just can't help themselves. They have a strong empathy for humanity. It is a proven neurological difference in their brains. There is so much to know as we all begin to wake up and realize our gifts. Now that the age of Aquarius has arrived, many of us will begin to be more aware and tuned into our own intuition and special gifts. As we open our eyes, we will begin to see things in a different light. You may see things for the first time about people you've known your whole life. No judgment, just a new awareness. We all came here to learn. I believe we have to go through tough situations in life to realize our own powerful abilities. As you learn to use your gut feeling and trust it more and more, it will grow stronger, just like a muscle. My gifts have become intensified the more that I have meditated and connected with the divine. The more you use your spiritual practices, the more your abilities will grow. As you use your intuition, it intensifies and you will immediately know when a person is not being truthful to you. You will be more aware when people speak and interact with you. Please understand that being intuitive is a gift from the divine, the universe whatever you call a higher power. This power has allowed me to help many people to stay on the right path or to ease their mind about something or to help them move forward in their lives. But it is also a bit of a curse when you realize the people around you are not what you thought they were. This is the age of Aquarius, and as people begin to wake up and their gifts and raise our consciousness on the planet, you may have people fall away from your life. This is the universe changing it up and allowing new people to come in who are more like-minded and have the same vibration. This will be a difficult thing to do as family members and loved ones may slip out of your life, but be assured that this is all part of the growth that we are experiencing right now as the consciousness on the planet is raising. Please know that we can only make changes within ourselves. We cannot change other people who do not want to change. Much of humanity is comfortable where they are. Please do not try to change them or save them. We all have to make a choice, for this is an inner journey for all of us. As an empath, it is difficult for me not to be empathic to all people, but also 
with being empathetic, I have learned thus far, you can be empathetic and still have boundaries. This way, you're not drained of all of your energy. As we grow through this exciting time on our planet, the most important thing to remember is to love each other, have compassion, do not judge each other, and be true to yourself. With love and compassion, Nancy Yero. This article was written and read by Nancy Yearout, author of the book, Wake Up! The Universe is Speaking to You. Learn to Use Universal Energy. We hope that you have enjoyed this article. For over 30 years, we at Inner Self have sought to encourage new attitudes and new possibilities. For more inspiration, visit us at InnerSelf.com. Thank you.